Are you qualified to film this video? Probably not. What's going on guys, Tyler here with Titanium Fitness. In this video, we're gonna be learning how to cook. That said, if you are pretty well versed in cooking stuff and you're a professional chef, this video is not for you, go watch something else. Um, I'm sure you can imagine, probably like a third of the guys and girls that I coach are pretty young, like working their first big boy or big girl job and they don't really know how to cook yet. I had somebody tell me recently that he took an hour and a half to make pretty much what we're gonna make today. So, if you're watching this video from our team, you know who you are, this video is for you. Uh, first of all, we're gonna go over ingredients and stuff that you're gonna need. We're gonna be using some, I'm gonna use egg beaters, you can just as well use eggs, but egg beaters are basically the nutrition of egg whites. So you've got just protein, no fat, um, but you could use eggs if you want to, if you have the fat in your budget. We're gonna use some reduced fat cheese. Again, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Got some flour tortillas, salt, pepper, cooking spray, um, then we've got, you can use whatever vegetables you feel like, but we've got an onion and we've got a bell pepper. As far as things that you'll need, you don't need two pans. If you're only gonna use one pan, make sure it's at least as big as your tortilla. And other than that, cutting board and a knife, and that's basically it. So we're gonna start here. We'll start by cutting the vegetables. So, pro tip, when you're cutting stuff, as much as you can, see this part of the knife right here? This is called the tang. You wanna kind of pinch that between your thumb and your forefinger to gain control of the knife. When I first learned how to cook, I thought you're supposed to hold a knife like this. It doesn't give you very much lateral stability. The knife's gonna wanna wobble like that. Don't do that. So, we're gonna cut up some vegetables. All right, and then your bell pepper, you'll cut straight in half. And you'll take this part up. That's right, give it there. When you're cooking, it helps a lot to have either a trash bag or a trash bowl nearby. Just so you don't have to keep things over to the actual trash can. We've got two halves of a bell pepper. I'm gonna cut these up. Fairly small. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do when I was starting this video? I meant to start a timer. So here, we're gonna start this a little bit late. But in case I have to cut this, we're gonna run a timer so we can see exactly how long this actually takes. Promise you, it won't be an hour. All right, we're gonna take our vegetables over to our pan, which I should have preheated. So I've already made a mistake, but that's okay. Get a little bit of cooking spray. If you guys are tracking your nutrition, like really precisely, you might wanna actually weigh out whatever oil you add in. Cooking spray is gonna be really marginal though. It's like a third of a second equals about a gram. But that is gonna be a gram of fat, so you wanna think about that. Carefully put all your vegetables into your pan, because if you don't and you spill, your girlfriend will be very mad at you for making a mess in the kitchen. We're just gonna do some salt and pepper to taste on the vegetables. And by the way, guys, you can do this in whatever heat you want, but because I'm kind of in a hurry, we're gonna do this on medium high heat. Uh, here's an ingredient we didn't list, but turkey sausages, pretty good nutrition. Uh, not nearly as bad for you as regular sausage. These are fully cooked as they are. So all we need to do is brown them in the pan. All right guys, before we move on in this video, a quick word from our sponsor. It's me. <laughs> I'm not cool enough to have sponsors for my videos. If you are looking to take your fitness to the next level, or even just get started, maybe you're trying to build some strength and muscle, lose some fat, and develop a structure to help you succeed at all these things, I do offer one-to-one -one coaching. Uh, this would include fully custom nutrition and training programming and weekly video calls. Every single week we'd meet up just like this on a video call, we'd talk to each other, we'd figure out how to adjust your plan to keep you on track and keep you making progress. I've been doing this job for eight years now. I'm very confident in my abilities as a coach and I continue to learn and hopefully improve as a coach. So if you're interested, if you think that's kind of something you might wanna do, feel free to check out my website. Shoot me a message from there or Instagram, drop me a comment, whatever you wanna do, and we'll talk. We'll see if we're a good fit. We've got the vegetables done. We're gonna set them on the side over here in a bowl. We've 
We've got the sausages sitting there for a second. Uh, we're gonna start the eggs. So egg beaters are a little bit weird if you're using egg beaters, where normally with the eggs you would not season them as you cook, you'd season them after. But I have found that egg beaters are a little bit more watery. So adding some salt helps it hold onto the water, I think. <laughs> Uh, and also it just makes it easier for you to spread your seasonings even throughout. Only thing that kind of sucks about egg beaters is the only way you can really cook them is scramble them. I guess you can make an omelet, huh? But basically scrambled. Alright, so we're going to chop these guys up. Need those guys come up. I probably needed a bigger pan than I needed. Oh my god. Don't look. Are you zooming in on the next enemy? Yeah. It focused really well. Yeah, that doesn't look that big. I'm gonna plop down our tortilla. We'll let that heat up for a sec. Um, heating your tortilla before you start putting stuff on it helps to make sure it doesn't tear when you're actually folding it and everything. So leave that guy alone. These eggs are about to be done anyway. I'm doing a really shitty job of filming this. It's been <laughs> right. pretty bad. We'll see you later. You still going? Yeah. Alright, so next thing, obviously we're going to start adding ingredients into our tortilla. Kind of depends how you want to fold this, but I'm going to try to fold it on three sides. We'll see how that works. Anyway, take some of our veggies, add that here on top. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, because I have to add sausage too. And then we're going to put sausage in there as well. The last thing to add is going to be our cheese. So if you guys are cooking with lower fat cheese, something to keep in mind is that it does uh, become solid again very quickly. So full fat cheese will stay kind of gooey and liquid for a long time. Reduced fat cheese, a little bit less than that. And then fat free cheese will solidify almost instantly when it starts to cool down again. But we're going to try our best to fold this in now. And carefully, without burning yourself, try to turn that. This will be fine. This will be just fine. Just you wait. Once that's just about done, we're going to plop this onto my plate. I'm using foil because I screwed up made this way too big. My girlfriend's cackling at me evilly. But I made it too big, so I can't actually fold it on three sides. I can only get it to fold inward. So what we're gonna do then, I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh, there we go. 17, 58, 56. I mean, and <laughs> time. That's not bad, 18 minutes to do all that. Obviously, I still have to clean up, but 18 minutes to make a meal, not too bad. Christine promised me that she is going to script and film yeah, and <laughs> edit and produce an entire video about cooking in the future. So if you guys have any ideas or requests of what you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below and she will do that. As I'm editing this footage, I realized that this wasn't scripted super well, but it's kind of tough because like we're trying to make dinner, like in real life, trying to make dinner for ourselves while also making this into a little bit of a video. So balancing act. I forgot a few things. One is the total nutrition, which I will either put up now or I might have thrown it up on a subtitle somewhere. Uh, something to keep in mind though with the total nutrition of my breakfast burrito is that the serving sizes that I'm using are very large uh, because I have to eat a lot of food just to like maintain weight. Uh, it may not be the same case for you and if your nutritional needs are different obviously you should change your serving size or you can change ingredients however you want to. Um, if it's at all useful I'm going to put some links down below in the description so you can check out. We have like a recipe nutrition calculator where you can put in your ingredients list and it will spit out some nutritional information for you. Aside from that, I was hungry by the time I finished cooking, so I just ate my stuff without remembering to make a uh, or take a picture for the thumbnail. So if you're looking at the thumbnail thinking like, oh, that's not what it looks like, I'm sorry. I clickbaited you, but also I had to eat, so leave me alone. Um, as far as future videos, in all seriousness, if you guys want to see things that are a little more complex, maybe you want to learn new recipes, that's cool too. Me and Christine both do enjoy cooking. It's just a little harder to do that when we are also trying to make that into a video. But in the future, if you guys have requests, like I said, drop them down below and I will try to produce it a little bit better than I did for this one. Anyway, 
that's all I've got for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.